It's called the DARPA Urban Challenge, and it's funded by the Department of Defense. To succeed, these privately sponsored unmanned vehicles must perform like cars with drivers and safely conduct simulated battlefield supply missions on an urban course. The vehicle behind me is called Boss. It uses a combination of laser, radar, and vision systems to see the world around it. Uh, it perceives other traffic, um, obstacles on the road, and then is able to use some algorithms that run on the computers in the back here to figure out where it's safe to drive and then take action to avoid obstacles and you know behave like a human driver. ACC sensors that we can point using this pan head. Chris Ermson so is the director of technology for the Tartan Racing Team, a partnership of Carnegie Mellon, General Motors, and several other sponsors. This Chevrolet Tahoe is packed with the latest sensing and navigation technology engineered to allow the vehicle to autonomously operate in real world conditions. What's exciting about BOSS is it's an important stepping stone to a future Really imagine a vehicle that uh, really never gets in a crash. Or imagine being in your vehicle and being able to safely use your cell phone or being able to safely send emails or receive emails. Uh, imagine rarely getting stuck in traffic congestion. These are all the kinds of opportunities we have with this technology to eliminate those concerns on the part of our customers. So while much of the development of these vehicles could have a profound effect on the safety of our troops, consumers and businesses will also gain. Undemanned vehicles could someday play a role in mining, farming, and potentially dangerous tasks as well. The DARPA Urban Challenge will be held in November. To learn more about the race and the technology, log on to tartanracing.org. I'm Chris Hansen.